Okay, alright, now I'm back. We're gonna switch to the computer part. And now, uh, you can just stay on the home screen. What we're gonna do is, we are going to, you know, go to plug it up. Everyone knows how to do this. If you don't know how to do this, then you should be on this video. So, as you can see, it vibrated, it's connecting, and my finger is loading. Now, quickly close iTunes. You don't want it to update, because then it'll probably just get rid of all the files that you've done. I'm going to open it. Alright, you're going to go to, yeah, you're going to go through from your computer to your iPhone to the hard drive and everything. And then, because I cleaned out my hard drive to make this more simple, <coughs> you get the two files. Don't worry if this one's black. It doesn't matter, because when you look at it right now, it's just because, um, iTunes, like the iDevices, the iTouch, the iPhone, they don't support PNG files that have transparent backgrounds. That's why it, um, the photo viewer doesn't support it. So just drag this onto the desktop. I just went like, just dragged it over. So now you've got these two files. Now what you can do is either, um, we'll start with the texture first. So you've got the texture there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to edit it with paint. Now because I've got Windows 7, it's going to be different. Mine's like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press... I'm going to press... So you're going to hold down Control. So I'm going to hold down with my elbow because I'm holding the cube. I'm holding the thing. And zoom in. So now I'm zoomed in enough that I'll just maximize the screen and zoom in a bit more. Hang on a second. Okay, so I got it about there. Okay, so I actually I've decided that I'm just going to go with changing this and making it... I'm just going to write something on the board instead and save some time. Okay, so you're going to erase this all. If you want to keep it and just like change the colors and do something basic, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to start it again when I'm done. Alright, so I've... Oh, no, come on. Alright, so I have made my board. And that's what it looks like. It's basic, but can't be bothered photoshopping an image onto it. I'm too lazy right now. And I've got school tomorrow, so I couldn't be bothered. Position him. All right. So now you've got this picture. So we can leave this file. We can leave that one alone. You can, you can just leave that picture alone. Alright. So we're going to go to this picture now. This is the transparent one with the description. So as you can see, there's no white background. This one's completely transparent. See so with this one, there's three ways you can edit this one. This, um, this specific picture. Either you can, like, I'm going to make this smaller. Either you can, hang on a second. Oh, yeah, either you can actually just, see, either you can just, get the word thing, like you can do the text and you can just like click like right there and then just write over it, just be like, what should we call the board, let's call it test, 
and then erase. Oh wait, my bad. So, all right, so I just erased it. So either you can just grab the text. All right, there. I make the font a bit bigger. Yeah, 28. I'll make some cool font. I've downloaded custom fonts, which you can get off Deviant. Uh, on it. I'll give you the link to custom fonts too. I'm not going to show you how to do it because it's not what we're doing right now. But I'm going to use one of my custom fonts. Okay, it's called Most Wasted. It's the same font as in Need for Speed Most Wanted. So. No, wait, no, I don't want to change. I want to set it. So we'll just call it test. I'm going to do that again. Okay, so it's fine. Okay, so I've inserted that instead. Whoops. Alright, so we can do that. Let's grab my keyboard. Stupid non wireless crap. Okay, so I can do that. And I'm just gonna go on my phone. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I know what to do. And then you can make a description. I guess a custom board by you can just write that. So it says custom board by NFX from officers. And then I can if I want, I can put let's say I need to get um, I think we set this at two million. Oh, wait, let me let me just quickly check. Okay. Oh no, I unlocked it. Okay, so just for this, we'll set the points at two million. So as it says that, it says 2 million points to unlock. So if that's all you want to do to the picture, then go ahead and just press save. And then the, full, the file will be here. Right there. But now there's the white background again. So you're going to have to go into GIMP, which you should have installed. Oh no, you click right click. And you click open with. And I'm going to click GIMP. Okay, now we're going to go to this tab where this bucket is. Click on that. And then click where it says Mode Normal. Change that to Color Erase. And then on the Layers tab, you're going to want to click on that. Right click. And then click. Oh, never mind. So you just kind of. Alright, you want to. You just, like I said, you're going to want to right click and click Add Alpha Channel. So is it right there? Click that. And then the font should look a bit different. It should look like it gets skinnier, like they took the bold font off it. So that you've done that. Change this white, the black square right there. Change that black square and go here and this is the color slider this you can edit what color you want 